I, I just want to spend some time on little Spencer because I'm curious. You know, like I look at my kids now, they play oh, flag football, they play basketball, they play tennis, they run around, they wrestle with each other. Like, what was little Spencer Clavin doing? And was it, I know you and your dad played video games and so on, but like, was it like every night you'd sit down and you'd read together and he'd like slip in a little C.S. Lewis in, in, in addition to like, I don't know, Grimm's fairy tales. Like, how did it, how did your love of reading uh, come about? Oh, absolutely. Well, I, you know, I, th I think of my relationship with my father, and I think we've both kind of talked about it this way to each other and to others. Um, you know, every son has uh, an important relationship with his father, even if his father is absent. There's no escaping that. It's built into your soul. And, and many sons have wonderful relationships with their fathers. Their fathers are mentors. Their fathers are guides. But I think my dad and I are very, very lucky, and I don't think it's a guarantee that my father and I are also friends. Um, and he's one of my best friends. And and mm -hmm. I think of friendship, you know, in terms that Lewis and Aristotle both talk about, that you, you find uh, your union in love of some common good, some third thing. And, you know, obviously when I was a little Spencer, uh, that meant that, you know, I was kind of taking these, I was always, you know, interested in, in books and, and, and dad and I would go on hikes, you know, or he would read to me at bedtime and he would quiz me about stuff, right? You know, like who said this or what do you, who, who do you think said, you know, this uh, line from say Rudyard Kipling's If, you know, and we'd have to talk about it. And, you know, the older you get, the more of your own uh, sense of the world you acquire that those hikes started to become arguments and conversations and, you know, mm. profound uh, you know, uh, approaches to, you know, the, the political questions of the day. Um, but always, I think, you know, we, we had that gift, which is a really underrated gift of the intellectual life. People think of the intellectual life as so solitary. Um, but Plato in his symposium talks about the intellectual life as a life of, of love and of shared friendship love between people who, you know, can produce things in between one another, that between these two people, there comes into being some love of, of the true and the good. Um, and, you know, I, I really, I had that in, in my father. And I think that, you know, a lot of what I say and do now, we, we have a hard time really remembering where one person's thought ends and another's begins, you know, that's, it's, it's been that close. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a real blessing. Mm. So I know that you recently got married. Uh, you married right. Josh, who I love that he's the general counsel at the Daily Wire. Hello. I didn't realize that. I assume <laughs> you met him because your dad, you know, works it, it for a time uh, at the Daily Wire. He's doing his podcast through them. Oh, no, actually. No, we, no? Uh, no, we, we met through the Log Cabin Republicans, which is a, oh. uh, you know, a yeah, yeah, of course Republican I know. Group. Yeah, yeah, you know about yeah. them. Um, yeah. And actually, he was not then Daily, the Daily Wire's general counsel. So oh. the connection kind of goes the other way around. Actually. Okay, so as a lawyer myself recovering, um, <laughs> most lawyers I know are very, are linear thinkers, are very good at logical reasoning, at sort of thought organization, at arguing. They don't tend to have a ton of extra time on their hands for deep reading of the kind Spencer Clavin does. So I, this is genuinely something I'm curious about. Is he the kind of intellectual that you are? Do you guys sit there at night and talk the way you and your dad do? Or is it more, is there something else that drew you together? Because I, I mean, maybe if, it, if you have two huge brains, like double Spencers, you drive each other nuts. Maybe you need somebody who's more of like a beer guzzler who just wants to talk about sports. I don't know. I'm curious. <laughs> well, you know, Ben Shapiro tweeted out a uh, cease and desist letter that Josh wrote recently, and it ended with, I'm sure you'll be familiar with this. It, the last line of it was, be governed accordingly. And so everybody reading at me like, does Josh tell you take out the trash, be governed accordingly? And, <laughs> and you know, it, 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 I think there's a, a real complementarity here between me and Josh. He was also lucky with to have a kind of, uh, I would say, a humanist education. He went to Calvin College, uh, which is, you know, one of the places that I think you can still go to get that uh, breadth of learning that, you know, I, I'm a big believer, as you know, in like, if, even if you're going to go off and be writing cease and desist letters, you ought to read like a couple plays by Shakespeare. And and mm -hmm. I think he kind of had that background. So he doesn't, you know, look at what I'm doing and say, huh, like, what the hell is that about? Um, but but I do think that uh, he's, you know, he brings me down to earth in a lot of ways. He's a very practical mm -hmm. 
guy. Um, and, you know, many of the things that we share are kind of like in the middle of the practical stuff and the theoretical stuff. Like we love, mm -hmm. you know, movies. We love watching movies together and we'll go to a Marvel movie and he'll come away being like, wow, the studio did this and that. And I'll come away saying like, gosh, this idea of the multiverse, it's, you know, it's everywhere. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> and, but I think that, you yeah, know, we have, we have a lot to learn from each other in that way, including the fact that like, you know, I, I live in a house and not a hovel or a box like somewhere on the side of the road because I haven't paid attention to paying the bills. But right, that that works, right? Because you don't you don't sure. want a carbon copy of yourself. You want somebody who, like you say, can be complimentary, who can further enhance your world, who can give you new perspectives that you're not immersed in all day. I always laugh with my husband Doug because um He's very well educated and he's a deep thinker and a, and a big reader. And on his birthday, you know, year after year, he would probably rather sit reading an Ernest Hemingway novel. And I put on every year on my birthday, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> no knocking Willy Wonka. I, I, I'm, I'm into it. No, and like, and I think that there is something where, where people get so invested in their identity as like, you know, lovers of, of great ideas that they fail to pay attention to this stuff. Uh, conservatives uh, can can be guilty of this, I think, in a big way. You know, you start to talk about, well, what exactly is going on in like, you know, why is why is Lizzo such a big deal? You know, why is this kind of un unappealing, unattractive woman r rocketing to the top of the charts? And maybe you don't like it, but what's the, you know, what's to be gleaned from it? What's to be learned? And mm. I think, you know, a lot of people kind of miss that because they have a certain disdain for for pop art especially in times like ours when so much of it is is so bad everyone's starting to go back to school right now right this week over the next couple of weeks and as that happens you have the chance to do some good by helping feed children who are facing hunger and food insecurity our partner good ranchers is on a mission to donate 100,000 high quality meals to young children who often go unfed or who are malnourished from poor access to nutritious food you can join this campaign by ordering a box of 100% American meat. Every order contributes meals to the cause and makes a huge difference in the lives of these kids. Good Ranchers is an award-winning food delivery service that brings 100% American meat and seafood right to your door. They source the best of American farms so that you can get the highest quality food possible and trust what you're feeding your family every time. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan to join the movement today. You will get $30 off your order, free shipping, and donate food to kids in need. Giving back never felt or tasted so good. Let's help them hit and pass their goal of 100,000 meals donated. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan or just use that code M-E-G-Y-N at checkout. Change the future one meal at a time with Good Ranchers. GoodRanchers.com slash M-E-G-Y-N. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.